All right, good morning, guys. So, <clears throat> today's Thursday. Um, so two days ago, I passed AWS DevOps Pro certification, which is awesome. It was just so difficult. So it was so difficult that it made me feel like I wasn't prepared or I didn't cover the entire topics. I decided to take some other Udemy courses, for example, yesterday, to kind of supplement some of the topics that, that I felt uh, not fully, I didn't fully understand. So I was working, like uh, going through courses for like code pipeline, Elastic Beanstalk, and today I'm gonna go through a code deploy, mainly CCD pipeline and whatnot, but all good. Basically, um, I'm certified AWS DevOps Pro engineer. And what next from now is basically I'm gonna work on GCP, Google Cloud Computing Platform. Google Computing Platform, GCP. It's another uh, cloud, public cloud provider. Um, because a month or a month and a half from now, I'm gonna be working on GCP. And how this is gonna happen is basically I talked to a project manager and asked him pretty much being taking initiative, asking him, hey, what is the chance? What is the chance for me to work on GCP? Uh, I don't have any certification, I don't have experience, but if I can, then I'm gonna be spending time to prep for GCP, like ramping up, you know, upscaling. And he said, uh, thank you for your offer, I'll take your offer with pleasure. So that's how I took initiative to work on something that I have never done, but it's sometimes it takes only it only takes initiative, you know. Tell them, tell the right people that you are interested in certain technologies, so that you can expand. And if you're working on that kind of something new technology first time, then you're gonna need some a little more time in the support and assistance. So he told me. Uh, that we're gonna do 50-50 with another engineer so that I can get some little more assistance and I'm not gonna be overloaded. So that's how I, you know, talk to uh, right people and uh, I'm gonna be studying for GCP, Cloud Architect certification in the next four or five weeks. And after that, I'm gonna be probably studying for Kubernetes, Kubernetes and GCP at least in like two, three months, I'm gonna be finishing that. And maybe after, I'm gonna go for Azure, another public cloud provider by Microsoft. Microsoft provides Azure, Google provides GCP, and Amazon provides AWS. So that's pretty much it. In terms of workout and whatnot, today is my low carb day, yesterday was as well, so I did get less than 50 grams of carbohydrates yesterday. Today as well, I'm gonna be eating less and I'm planning to work on legs today and a full body, so squat, deadlift, and shoulder military press, and traps, traps being shoulder. Um, yesterday, I went to gym twice. Yesterday was my back and uh, triceps day, so I worked on triceps twice a day, which means I increased total volume by 1.5 times. It's probably like I did like 25 sets in total. So this is really to accelerate. This is really to accelerate my growth. You know, I I, I want to really get bigger, or, you know, leaner, faster, and that's the only reason why I'm working out twice a day. And it's been all right. Just because I went to gym twice a day doesn't mean I double the entire volume. I I probably like add fifty or sixty seventy percent more volume by working out twice a, twice a day. And in terms of recovery time, I'm taking more proteins and I'm sleeping like nine hours a day. So in terms of recovery day, like recovery speed, it doesn't really affect me. Maybe like half a day more, I need recovery time. But in the end, I can only work on certain parts of muscles uh, twice a week maximum. You know, if I do Monday on chest, then I'll do maybe chest on the Thursday or Friday. So I need to recover two, three days in between. So it doesn't really affect me, even if I'm increasing volume. 
Um, so that's uh, I'm gonna t- right now it's seven a.m. I woke up like six thirty. I went to bed ten p.m. yesterday. So at seven. I'm going to gym. Work on squat, deadlift, shoulder, traps. Traps is my weak spot, so like I'm really working on that. And up to uh, traps and a neck as well. Uh, neck I have been working on uh, once every two days or three days, and I see uh, progress so far. So yeah, neck and shoulder is gonna make a huge impact in like you know from outside because this is you know how much space you take in from the first impression people look at you. It's not the chest or abs or biceps. It's the right proportion especially reverse triangle they're gonna look at neck and traps subconsciously so that's what i've been working on physique wise it's all good career wise it's all good too so yeah um i'm gonna go to gym take part and shake it come back and then resume this uh daily vlog all right see you guys later